Our final segment of Rochester and Rochester, uh, Rochester and Focus is with something I had never heard of at Rochester General Hospital. It's called Stephen's Closet. Claire Simser is an emergency nurse at RGH, and Susan McNally is from O'Connell Electric, and we're going to explain the connection in just a moment with that Victor business. But let's start off with Claire, because she's holding a picture of Stephen, who the closet is named. So let's quickly tell a little bit about Stephen. So our Stephen was very special to our department. I work in the emergency department, and he came to us very often. Um, he was someone that we looked out for. Um, unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago, and we were able to um, hold his funeral. We actually were able to meet some of his siblings, and we met a sister we didn't even know he had. And we had this closet, and that that way we could send patients home in warm clothes if they were soiled. Right, or because we did we mention that Stephen at the time was homeless himself? Yes. And yes. so you guys had created this closet. We have some mm -hmm. footage of it so you can actually see what we're talking about. This is at RGH. Mm -hmm. It's closed up right now, but inside is all kinds of donated clothing that you yeah. would offer to people like Stephen mm -hmm. when they were finished with their treatment. Is that true? Absolutely, and we ran it based on donations from fellow co-workers and employees at Rochester Regional and their family members until we got a beautiful donation from you guys. Yeah, and that's where we're <laughs> going to bring Susan in because O'Connell Electric just presented a $6,000 check. We have a picture of it, and it's a big check. <laughs> big amount. Why did you want to give to Stephen's Closet? And that, so well, every year our company has an annual ho holiday party. Mm -hmm. It's 100% paid for by our company as a th thank you to our employees. And part of our c corporate culture and part of our mission and vi vision as a company is ph philanthropy within our community mm -hmm. and making a difference. Mm -hmm. So we had reached out to uh, Rochester Regional Healthcare System to see if there was a particular need for something where we could all make a difference. Uh -huh. So at our holiday party, we actually make a little pre presentation about what chair charity we have cho chosen. Uh -huh. We've been doing this for like 25 years and ask our employees to uh, pass around a box. They have the option to put in something, not put in something, whatever they feel that they can do. Uh -huh. And then we take whatever has come from that and then match their donation and that so as well and give it to the charity. Oh, that's mm -hmm. great. And I understand people also donate items and we have some footage of people yeah. bringing in bags and bags and you encourage that? That people can bring them in? Well, the empl we accept clothes from um, people who work at Rochester Regional in the emergency department. Um, but they were very generous. Yeah. They um, collected clothes through the Christmas party. Right. People were able to bring in and we were able to accept those clothes. Oh, I, I guess I would say, Rebecca, the one reason why we did that, that was another way that we felt and that, that we were able to ask our employees to be able to don donate. We often realized that even though we have jobs, everybody have d different life su yeah. situations, mm -hmm. and if they weren't able to contribute monetarily, this was a way that they could give to the community, and we can make a d difference, yeah. all of us. Well, I wanted to share that with you because I thought Stephen's Closet was a great idea, and Thank we were you. thinking of Stephen today. And I also linked up the Facebook page so you can see 